Okay, so what's going on everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman V 2013 YouTube channel on the Iceman Wrestling Network on this Wednesday. And um, as everybody's noticed in the last few videos, very, 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 very short hair. Probably the shortest I've had in years. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. But anyway... A few things to discuss here uh, this Wednesday morning. Uh, reading reports about Tammy Steich. Everybody remembers her as Sunny, uh, a very big manager and valet in the world of professional wrestling. Um, yeah, she has sort of like uh, attacked the NXT Divas making her remarks about their multicolored hair and whatnot. And it just seems like, to me, uh, we've heard China attack people before. We hear Tammy Steich doing it, Sonny doing it now. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, because of the attention like Sasha and Charlotte and Becky Lynch are getting, um... People just can't get over the fact that they're no longer involved in the world of professional wrestling. Their time has passed. And so they never can say anything good about anybody of the new up-and-comers. And, and uh, this is the same with, with Sonny. Uh, we've even heard Chris Jericho and Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, pretty much attack and badmouth the WWE the superstar power that they have and saying it's not like it was in the older days. Well, guess what? Austin and Jericho, when you guys first emerged into the WWF WWE, the WWF WWE had so much talent. I mean, you could lose sight of any one individual, any one star. The roster was fully loaded, and that's no pun intended from a pay-per-view because the roster was. The present-day roster, yes, it's not loaded like the old days, uh, whether it be uh, not enough people wanting to get involved in wrestling, which I don't think is the case. Pretty much back then you had the main two promotions, WCW and the WWF, and between the two, their rosters were humongous. Now we have so many other promotions where a lot of guys, Ring of Honor has a lot of talent, but a lot of that talent is happy where they are, and we still have Lucha Underground, TNA, um, there's just loads of smaller promotions with talent there that have really not yet uh, maybe gotten to the point where they're ready to make that big, big jump to the WWE. But what I'm trying to say here is between Jericho and Austin, the remarks they made, uh, you two as well, like Sonny, because you're no longer really involved in the product on an everyday basis, don't have much good to say about it. If you listen to their podcasts, and uh, the majority of the time, uh, they both have a lot of negative things to talk about the world of professional wrestling. And, you know, it is what it is. And, um, yeah, you're not around no more. Your time has come. Austin's time could have lasted a little bit longer if he didn't have those injuries. Chris Jericho's time could have lasted even much longer if he didn't decide to tour with his band Fozzy. So, it is what it is. Um, getting to another subject, SummerSlam, real quick. People, not everybody, are complaining that Undertaker and Lesnar are main eventing, they believe the WWE title should be main eventing. Now, you have Lesnar and Undertaker, two of the biggest phenoms in WWE history, going at it for the second time, um, especially after the Undertaker's been gone 
since WrestleMania of last year. How can you not main event this on the SummerSlam pay-per-view? Because this is the biggest pay-per-view of the summer. And, you know, getting to the WWE title, let's face it, Seth Rollins has not really... Um, He's, he's the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. But it's never been really any kind of epic matches with him since he's become champion. I think his best match um, was when he cashed in at WrestleMania and the match he had with Dean Ambrose. Um, now, who is Rollins going to face at SummerSlam? Who is John Cena going to face at SummerSlam now? that his program with Kevin Owens is over. Well, I know a lot of people are going to be very unhappy about this, but you have to understand that WWE already decided before the Battleground pay-per-view, John Cena was going to get back into the WWE world title picture. And this is why Cena had to beat Owens at Battleground. He had to continue to look strong holding that U.S. title. And if he lost, there'd be really no reason for Cena even to go after Seth Rollins. But he did win. He's gone through uh, a number of challenges. Uh, he's defended the title successfully. So the WWE feels, because who else is going to face Seth Rollins. We did hear rumors about Triple H. Don't seem to be true, especially not at SummerSlam unless something happens real soon. Um, we saw the segment with Rollins and Cena pretty much calling him a lousy champion, which started to set up uh, the promotion for this SummerSlam title match. People are saying again, you're kidding me, John Cena going after the belt one more time? Well, tell me seriously, who else is there to go after Seth Rollins? Um, there really isn't anybody, and hopefully this will not be a transitional title reign for John Cena if he does indeed win, because it would be his 16th title reign tying with the legendary Ric Flair. So, with all this being said, I think the WWE uh, is in somewhat sort of a bind, and they're trying to find their way out of it. But the only people they have to blame are themselves, because they put themselves into this situation. Uh, they had opportunities of really pushing Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns seems to get a little step ahead, then takes a step back. Dean Ambrose, he was pushed ahead. He got pushed way back. Bray Wyatt, he wins a big match with Roman Reigns. He'll probably get another step back. Kevin Owens, he got pushed. He got a step back. And now we have Sheamus and we have Randy Orton. Um, Sheamus probably will face the WWE Champion sometime down the road. Now, who that will be remains to be seen. Who knows? Maybe Rollins and Cena won't even wrestle at SummerSlam. I think it's still up in the air. Um, and if they do, maybe it's not even for the title. So you'd have to wonder there as well. Could it be a non-title match between Cena and Rollins? And then, towards the end of the match, could Sheamus try to cash in? The Money in the Bank briefcase, think about that. That is something that could happen as well. So, again, we are st we still got a lot of time away from SummerSlam, so we'll just have to wait and see what develops there. So, anyway, this is the Iceman here on this Wednesday, a beautiful Wednesday. I'm out here in Portland. It's going to be like in the low 80s today. No humidity like the last few days. Very, very good breathing weather. The air quality is excellent. So I hope everybody, wherever you may be, uh, is enjoying your day. And we'll see you all next time here on the Iceman's Wrestling Network.